I have an IQ of 298. Why do intellectual inferiors think they have a grasp to even talk to me? Peter replies, if you believe you have an IQ of 298, then most people cannot talk to you because you are either too stupid to have a conversation with others or completely delusional. You just got burned on Quora. Hey everyone, Noble Xenon here, and welcome to the Intellectuals of Quora. These are people who believe their IQs have reached ascended levels. Let's get started. So, why doesn't Quora have a feature to help intellectual singles meet other intellectual singles? Would such a feature be appreciated by the users? Nick replies, sweet tuxedo wearing baby Jesus no. <laughs> wow, I love that. Quora isn't bang with friends. I can only imagine how quickly most women would drop Quora like a bad habit if every time they logged in, they had to deal with a deluge of dipshit lonely males who thought they could woo a woman from the interwebs. Using the word interwebs, that's how you know the answers from 10 years ago. I'd imagine that would go about as well as when the crypto bros tried to make a dating app. How do I find a man smarter than me when I crave intellectual dominance? By the way, I'm a woman with an IQ of 180. Does this person want a partner or an IQ boss battle? And the reply, then you've come to the right place. About half of Quora have self-reported IQs of over 180. There will surely be no shortage of battle foes on Quora. This next person has apparently been using gravity boots intermittently since 1981. Answering the question, why does everyone perform the strict curl with the curl bar instead of the straight bar? Oh, but not everyone does. That was presumptuous of you. Unfounded, erroneous, misleading statements such as the one in your question shouldn't be made. I'm 13, I've been studying quantum physics, astrophysics, and the likes for years recently at a university level. I have some interesting hypotheses about time and its relationship to the universe. How do I publish my findings? All that at the age of 13? You sure about that? I have a concern. Is my IQ of 273 good enough? Well, my dear intellectual, it's good enough to be false. Troll recognized. Do you know your IQ? Well, according to BuzzFeed, I'm a genius deserving lots of praise and awards. According to 123 test, I have an IQ of 300 and I'm considered a prodigy. According to a real me, I have an IQ of 3 and they've probably made a mistake. 3? According to Genius Tests, I have an IQ of 158. According to Free IQ Test, I have an IQ of 100. According to Memorado, I have an IQ of 180. According to me, it doesn't matter and I should stop caring. Finally, someone on Quora who doesn't think IQ is the solution to the world's problems. What can high IQ people do that average IQ people can't? I'm glad you asked. As an extremely high IQ individual myself, I have an IQ of 161. I often catch myself being able to do things that the average person could never even dream of doing. Here are some of the abilities I have experienced over my lifetime. Please know that these are mostly one-off experiences as I'm not fully in control of my genius. Abilities such as scoring well on IQ tests, winning games of chess, ability to perform well on tests that measure IQ, and of course, telepathy. Ah, uh, yes. So, I'm 13 and I think my IQ is 125 to 130 plus. I'm definitely extremely intelligent, but IQ tests are still difficult for me. Are IQ tests difficult for everybody, or could it theoretically mean I'm stupid? Let's just say theoretically for the sake of argument that IQ tests aren't the end-all be-all when it comes to intelligence. I have been frequently seeing that as a 16-year-old boy, I just cannot get my friends online to understand sometimes what I'm talking about. For example, I talk to them about quantum science and Schrodinger's cat as well as quantum immortality and also the initial singularity in the lifetime of our universe. Is it normal that they say words like yes and I agree when they have no idea what I'm even talking about? Well, maybe you should change the topic if your friends don't understand 
understand what you're talking about. A question for this one, who is the most educated person in the world? Well, what are your educational criteria? Does autodidactic count or must it be college degrees? Statistically speaking, I'm 1 in 5 million for IQ, and approaching 1 in 100 million or better for education, but I haven't got any actual credential degrees, no. I read 3,000 textbooks at or above the master's level between the ages of 9 and 18, depending on how you could degrees and equivalency. Say we go for 100 textbooks per degree, that would be 30 of them. Of course, your education is the equivalent of 30 college degrees. A lot of these people have got to be trolling. What do intelligent people do to waste their time? This person has an IQ of 177, is a writer, and a Rubik's Cuber. Today I was off from work, here's what I did today. Studied calculus for about two hours. Found a free ebook online about linear algebra and group theory. Yet I still feel like I should buy the physical copy from Amazon. I need to get hands-on with the theory after all, and of course I watched several documentaries on the history of quantum physics and quantum computing. These people use the word quantum like it's some kind of magic word for intelligence. Hey, if you're enjoying this video, then why not like, subscribe, and hit the little notification bell? Intellectuals of Quora, what does an IQ of negative six mean? It means you're a potato. <laughs> Are INTPs more complex or harder to understand than other MBTI types? If so, how? Well, they certainly think so. We like to flatter ourselves by believing we are just too complicated and smart for the other people to understand. I'm not boring, I say every morning, gazing dolefully into a mirror. I'm an intellectual, that's why people dislike me. I kid, but in all seriousness, yes, INTPs are shape-shifting reptilians. <laughs> what is the best city for an intellectual to live in? Seattle, New York, or Chicago? Just looking for the largest concentration of big-brained individuals, that's all. Do atheists generally have a higher intelligence than religious people? Goodness no. I have much better reasons to believe in my intellectual superiority. I've invented a 360-degree invisibility cloak using mirrors. I'm only 18 and not even in college yet. Who should I show this to? It's really simple, though, and I'm not sure if it would be useful. I've also designed a few concept aircraft and would like to go into aerospace engineering. I have an IQ in the 115 to 125 range on reliable tests, not just those foolish online tests. But I still have to study in high school to get straight A's. Why is that? That's not even that high over the average. Why, oh why, do I always end up in a company of people who have a lot of lower IQs than I do? I have about a 135 IQ. Does it exclude me from normal society? I don't think it's the IQ that's excluding you from normal society. Me! Asks scientific question on Yahoo Answers. God, I miss Yahoo Answers. Computer, wouldn't do that if I were you. Me, why? It says here to ask and you shall receive the best answer. Computer, ha 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 LMAO, Yahoo, best answers, are you serious? Here, go to Quora.com. You'll discover true intellect and wonderful people. Cheers to finally having good taste. Me, but... I've developed an addiction. Computer, oh yeah, quocaine does that to you. Okay, you cannot be serious here. Symptoms include higher intellect and a better understanding of the world. Have fun. This is your brain on Quora. The cringe levels here are reaching maximum levels. I have an IQ of 320. What should I do? Look up the number of a psychiatrist, then when you talk to a member of that profession, explain how you have a compulsion to go on Quora and admit blatant self-destructive lies. I love how Quora isn't just pseudo-intellectuals, it's also people destroying said pseudo-intellectuals. At least it maintains some semblance of balance here. How can I get my friends to realize that I'm intellectually superior to them? Them? Are IQ tests such as IQtest.com and IQtest.dk accurate? 
I got 126 on this test and it's the lowest I've ever scored on any IQ test. I also know that it's inaccurate because I've always been exceptionally bright and almost every other online IQ test I've ever taken has placed me above 140 or 150. Ah oh, yes, this IQ test must be wrong because I am highly intelligent. I have an IQ of 298. Why do intellectual inferiors think they even have a grasp to talk to me? I understand you completely. As a fellow genius, my IQ is 294. It is purely incomprehensible to me why these little people with their paltry IQs of 115 feel the urge to speak with me. They cannot understand how I speak. When I use words longer than five letters, they scratch their heads in. Ah uh, yes, because a person with slightly above average IQ has never comprehended a word with more than five letters. I have near genius IQ. How can I prevent interactions with inferior from eroding my intelligence. This person really thinks people around them are making them dumber. Wow. If your IQ could be genetically altered, what number would you choose and why? I would certainly want lower IQ than my current 177 on SD15. Lower for at most 30 points, so I could still be in the genius range yet somehow manage not to die inside from all the overwhelming stupidity surrounding me in this emotional and impulse driven world, where logic is barely even used in interactions. And it would certainly help me not live in a world of goldfish since my childhood where the goldfish would pick on me for my extensive analytical mathematical, linguistic, and problem-solving abilities. I have an IQ of 162 and can solve differential equations in seconds. Quora, what does this mean? Edit. I am changing this equation just so I can solve it potentially because it annoys me. Solve this equation. What the? Can you live alone? You were with a person. She broke up, moved to a different country. She still told you she loved you. You left everything and moved to be with her. She is with someone else. Two years on, you still love her. You have tried to be with someone else. A lot of someones, you can't. You still hurt. You can easily live alone if your IQ is high enough. Extremely high IQ individuals don't have any problem living alone so long as we have friends and family to fulfill social needs. Honestly, my main fear is living with someone else for a long period of time. I've never lived with any of my previous girlfriends and don't want to. My beautiful complex mind is all the company I need. Many high IQ people feel the same way, especially those who have a propensity for creative genius. How can I prevent people from being blinded by an intelligence aura at first encounter. I am considered vastly more intelligent than almost every person I encounter. I wish to partially separate my relationships from my intellectual endeavors. My main concern is that my apparent intelligence may possibly adumbrate or overshadow some profound aspects of my interiority. Most of the time, my new acquaintances call our first conversation initiatic to sum up which I appreciate, but this does not negate the previous sentence. In the long term, if the aforementioned phenomenon does exist, its total damage effects could stack and be not so negligible as one would like. So we got an intelligence aura with stacking damage effects. What video game is this? Seriously, this does not sound like it resides in any reality. I have an IQ of 150. I become bored really easily. One of the only times I'm not fed up is when I'm solving a math mathematics or physics problem, is this a result of having a high IQ? If you had an IQ over 150, would you tell anyone in the real world? Hell no, Quora doesn't count because of course people just brag about their IQs on there all the time. My boss's boss once told me, you're the smartest person in this office, but, and the conversation went downhill from there. I can't imagine what would have transpired if I had told her what my IQ actually was. She felt threatened enough just thinking it might be 120 to 130. Could you imagine over 150? By my estimates, I'm one of the smartest people on Quora, but understand that not everyone agrees with my opinions or appreciates that discussion is the way to get at people's thoughts. Probably your mind is made up anyway, though. This next one had to ask Quora how to tame their off-the-charts intelligence. 
I'm getting very afraid. My IQ is shooting off the charts and clarity of mind just keeps getting clearer and clearer. I'm almost getting booted from Quora for talking above everyone. I want help but none is available. I'm almost the smartest man alive now. This person is too powerful even for Quora. They must be stopped. Oh. Uh. So, I'd like to thank all of my channel members, especially Amethyst Phoenix, Krangis McBiscopal, Dark Garden, Catalan Cormendi, Mike Cock, Hold Up, Nightcrawler, Stormcloud the Wolf, Vicmeister1999, and Zoe Horsham. You can join in the link below, and if you enjoyed it, feel free to like, subscribe, and hit the little notification bell, and comment what's on your mind.